Hey guys, Dunas Plays, and we're going to finish off this undercarriage today. So, we've got most of the um, engine, we've got the front end mostly in. Uh, we did the rear end last episode, and we just need to get the gearbox transfer case, which actually looks really good, so I'm going to keep that. And then drivetrain, uh, we also need a diff there. Um, Yeah. So let's get on with that, I think. So the first thing we need to do is we need to get that gearbox out. So let's work on that. So we just need to loosen off all that. Gearbox comes out. Right, that's a gearbox five. So let's go in here and let's have a look. So we want NIV, we're using the i4 uh, engine, Should gearbox should be in here I believe, gearbox 5. 400 and something dollars, that's uh, a lot cheaper than real world, that's for certain. Right, and then we just bolt the gearbox, oh, there's one more bolt that side, right, gearbox is bolted, perfect, right, that's, yep, so we're going to need some drivetrains and a diff, so spent, uh, suspension, um, three, two, four, two, four, six, I, to be honest, I have no idea, if anybody in the comments knows any of the differences here, that's great, um, but we're going to go for three, two. And if you could just leave a thing in the comments and let me know what the differences are, that'd be great. So, although that's a three, eight, stick with three, two. But what we actually need is drive shaft front and drive shaft. So I'm going to get the diff in. That's it. I was say, I knew there was another one up there somewhere. Right, this is the rear drive shaft. <clears throat> and then we'll have the front drive shaft. Because this is a four wheel drive car. Okay, perfect. So we haven't got any steering in place. That's one thing we definitely need to put in. But as far as I can tell, that's everything in the suspension side of things. So, we're steering in here. We've got the column. I think we need the column, actually. Steering arms. Steering link and a tie rod. I don't know how they all go together though. So let's have a look. Oh no. Okay, this goes on here somehow. But that isn't going to stop moving. Okay, so that goes on there. Tie rod, then I'm assuming, goes on the end like that. And then this whole thing goes in the front of the car somewhere. Okay. So then the tie rod connects to the hub. Now, do I just need another tie rod? Or do I need this steering box as well? I don't know. <clears throat> nope. Set one and two. Lovely. Right, let's see what this this box is all about. I don't know if I even need this. Oh, there's a place for it. Oh, this this will be. Oh, I've already got a steering column. This will be where it connects the column. Okay, okay, okay. 
cool. Just trying to see if there's any bolts. We've already got a column, so I don't actually need this one that I bought. So off it goes. Okay, so steering and brakes is in, suspension's in, engine's in. The exhaust isn't in yet, but that's fine. I think. No, we still need to do the brake reservoir. That needs to come out. The radiator needs to go in, but that's we can do that from the bottom. So I think what I'm actually going to do is pop these wheels on. And then we can go from there. Bit of rust there, I'll clean that up. Right. Do we think I need a seat? But let's just get it down on its, on its wheels. First of all, lovely. Got pedals, we got gear shifter. I just need a seat. Um, interior. It's the front left seat, maybe? Yes, it is. Good. Let's get this so we can get this in. See, that looks like a bit of damage on the floor. That bolt popping through, but... I can live with that, right? We need to take this out. I think it is it just the one bolt? No, it can't be just the one, surely. It's gotta be another bolt holding that in place. Right, let's take the pedals out quickly. There it is. Yeah, the firewall's a bit damaged. Right, so that's something I need to replace. Make sure I'm not in lean mode. Right, brakes. We need brake master cylinder. Perfect. That's in place. Tighten both of them up. Oh, let's tighten both of those. We're nearly there now. We just need radiator components and then fluids. And then we're done. For the most part, anyway. So, engine. What do we need? Where are we? We need a lower hose. We need a radiator. We need an upper hose. I think, have we got an engine fan on there already? No, I might be missing something here. I don't know if I'm missing something. Because that engine fan wants to be somewhere. We also need the wires, although I may have the wires already in place. No, I don't. All right, there we go. So we need the wires in place. We need... What did I just put in? I should put the radiator in, didn't I? So make sure there's nothing on the bottom of the radiator. No, it just sits in by gravity. That's good. So we need ground, need starter, alternator. Got one for the battery, got the hoses. Come on, I did see you just then. Where are you? Right, that's that hose in place. And then we need a second hose in place. Perfect. Yeah, I'm missing a, I'm missing something. There's something not quite right here. 
fan is tiny. I thought so. Where? Come on, where are you? There it is. I thought there was something. Right, so, battery. And then, I do believe we can fill up all the stuff. Perfect. Right, so, first things first. Oh. I just thought, I don't believe this has a fuel tank. That's no good. 60 litre gas tank, yeah. Which I believe sits back here somewhere. Did I just buy a fuel tank for no reason? Okay, so there's the fuel spell. I did just buy a fuel tank for no reason. There's one right there. Honestly. And that, I did not get anywhere near the return I would have liked on that. Right, we need some basics here. Uh, interior. We need the dashboard and the cluster. Uh, that needs the screwdriver, which is just here. I mean, hello? Okay, we'll put the dash in. Like that. Oh, big save. That needs the screwdriver. Although, judging by the shape of the bolt, you could use a screwdriver or a, a wrench. There we go. On. Come on. And two, that's everything in. We are powered up electrical wise. I think I've got some oil over here. That's coolant. I'm going to need that anyway. No, I used the oil because I did an oil change. So let's grab the coolant. Got a little filling symbol, so we'll just let that fill up. Because we definitely need coolant in here. Come on. It's probably going to use the whole bottle. I need to get some oil. I need to get some brake fluid in this. I might have some brake fluid over there. Well, this is a big bottle. Come on. Finally. Get rid of that. Do we have? I think we do. What's this? That is brake fluid. Right, don't forget the caps. Need to keep the caps on. Put on the engine. Brake fluid. I don't know how well this is going to work. Okay, we're filling. Can't really see how full that is, but... That'll do nicely. Obviously, you would bleed all the air out of the system in real life, but... I don't think he's put that system in because that would be an absolute ball ache. Okay, we need oil. Because this this engine is empty because we used, it's a brand new engine. We built it almost from scratch. Definitely got the block uh, brand new. So this won't have any. Found that if you do this, it's usually a bit easier to Let's wait for that to fill up. Always takes ages to fill up liquids in any game. Right, there we go. Just jump through the wall there. 
pressing the wrong buttons here. Right, grab you. You need to be on. Let's just check. That's perfect. So let's see if got power. That's good. Cranks. Nothing. Did I forget? I think I've forgotten the fuel lines. I think we need to put the fuel lines in. I mean, it'd be a useful thing to put in. One set of fuel lines. Probably can go, yep. Now, I need to jack the car up again. Oh, don't fall off, please. That's precarious. Because I think, if I remember correctly, I need to... Trace, that's the brake line. The fuel line is going to go back here. So I'm pretty certain I need to bolt it up. Well, I know what I do need to bolt up, though. Need to bolt that up. Right, that's the fuel line. Let's just double check because it goes into the back here. I think that's okay. I don't know if this thing had any fuel in it, actually. So let's double check. It's got a tiny bit. We're on. It's loud because we don't have an exhaust. Very loud. Break off. Okay. The car moves of its own accord. Now we just need to get the exhaust, and that bit looks good, but we need to get a new header. But I think that will be the first thing we do next episode, along with some... Why can't I... Okay, so apparently I have to grab it at the header. Um, a bit weird. So yeah, that will be the first thing we do next episode. And what we'll do then is we'll finish off... We'll get the car cleaned, and we'll try and get the body panels, but we may need to... Yes, we are going to. We're going to have to do some normal jobs tomorrow. Uh, well next episode to uh to get us some money really so um yeah i'm gonna leave it there thanks very much for watching guys like and subscribe and do all that youtube stuff and uh well i hope to see you in the next one where this thing's gonna look a lot nicer